All right, here we go. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? We're getting the day started early. I don't know why this mic isn't working. Oh, you got the mouse. Starting the day off with Matt Craw and Dylan Sephora. Sephora. That's all right. You told me to play Dylan. When we talked about it. The other way because they go into the the round is behind. Nathan's playing right now. Yes, he is. He still has to play Brad. That's what we said, but you just went back. It's okay. Too busy trying to get the stream started because they were playing. This is why I don't take player input. I'm just going to play what I'm going to play. I can get on my phone. But you know what I think it is? It's because it's that restream. It is. But that's probably what the problem is. It probably is. All right, we got two matches fired up right now. Yeah, 
this is live. I mean, really, we could play all the, all the matches. I could play them right now and not worry about it. This one goes here. This match is being played. Then these two are going to get played at the same, or these two are going to get played at the same time. This one's not going to be on the stream. This this one will be on the stream, and this one will be on the stream. Mm-hmm. He's coming off 10. Okay, and just leave these up. Okay. Yep. And then after that, we're golden. Because then this will play and come over here and play the winner as soon as they're done. The play is up to the players. The time they play is up to the players. They play fast, they play slow. Like the longest match we had yesterday was um, an hour and 24 minutes. But on average, the the average match yesterday was about 40, 45 to 55 minutes. Mm -hmm. The fastest match yesterday was Brett's match, and it was 24 minutes. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's update this. Well, TJ likes the split screen. That was a little work I did this morning, TJ. Yep. Bev said you have no opinion. He's too, he's like family. I don't have an opinion. All good bank. He has. Matt has been playing pretty good. I'm going to figure out why the mic for... <laughs> there but it's not there yeah but for some reason this one doesn't want to work today so I got one headset right now yeah that's this one doesn't want to work no I can I figure a couple big matchups today, TJ. Everybody wants to watch them as many as they can. Yeah. 
It didn't update to day two. It still says day one on brews. Does it? Yeah, I think it's a, it still says day one there, even though I updated and restreamed them. Uh, Mike gives him the two balls. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. There you go. All right. Still only got a little thin clip here on the two. Going to come right back up the table. Bounce back off. Four in the corner. Oh, Mike with a good break, but a thin cut on the one. Good shot from Dylan there. It looks like he's going to tie this game up here. I don't see any major problems coming off off here. Just letting the stroke out, staying comfortable. Good cut by Mike. Dylan making quick work of this rack, tying the game up to a piece. Mike needs this rack here. He's Needs to keep it close with Nathan. Nathan has a tendency, you know, you give him a little room, he'll he'll run with it. Okay. Oh, it looks like Matt's coming up drive here. Nathan going into the air. The jump cue. I'm going to try to. I miss what happened with that match. What happened with Nathan right there? Did Mike play safe? Or did he make a ball? Oh. That's fine. The matchups coming up after this, you're going to have. Or what do we say we're doing? Steve Fleming and Scott Haas. And then you're going to have the bigger matchup. Thomas Haas and Sean Wilkie. We'll be bringing you both those matches there. And this one will be. Yep. And then everybody's. That's all we need. That's why I said we're just using this side. Yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's harder to keep track of. Because, like, until you get into the final 16, like, here, I can bring, I can bring this down. And then after this round, we can go to that eight. Yeah. Mike did play a safe. He actually played a couple safes at rack. Uh, and I think it's just because Mike knew that that was a big rack for him. You know, you don't want to be 4-1 down in a race to six. So keeping it tight, keeping 2-3 here. I think Mike just came, he came to win today. You know, yesterday he told me, he said he's winning this whole thing. and He's going to win if, if, you, if you play the right shot. Dylan looking like he's going to take his first lead here. There we go. And these guys are going back and forth. Scores identical on both parties. Uh, Nathan th up three. Dylan now up three to two on Matt. Dylan with a good break there. Good look at the two. Everything else on the table looking pretty. Yeah. <laughs> I might get the table here. Both these guys trying to run out, Dylan. I don't think they updated their score. I believe it's three, two. I think Mike is just one good shot away here. I think he needs one good shot to get on this five. And uh, it'll be pretty scary. He'll be pretty good to win this rack. This is the hardest shot here for Dylan, getting down to the seven. He drew it straight back. Tough cut on the seven now with the reach. He looks like he's going to play safe. I think he missed the ball. No, he did. He said he did make contact. That was tough to see. Mike closing this rack out here. Good out for Mike, tying the game back up. I don't know. A rough, rough lead for Matt. Just catching that ball a little too full. Leaking that seven ball out. Oh, good shot there by Dylan. Controlling the eight ball. Knew he was going to hit it.
All right, we have a 4-2 race now. Map breaking. We are in the final eight. So here's what happens when you're doing it. All right, Matt's set to break. Oh. Avoids the, the scratch in the side, but I actually think he has a good look at the one. Let's run back. Let's look at this table first here and see what we got. It's a good look at the one. Yep, and go back to the split so I can keep keep everybody in the action on both tables. If you're watching from your phones, I know the, the names up top are small. You got Matt Crawl, Dylan Sephora on your left, and Mike Soleil and Nathan Childress on your right. Mike Soleil and Nathan are three apiece, and Matt Crawl is trailing by two. It's two to four. If you want to come up and watch live, you're more than welcome to come up to Brews. He got open tables, good food. Great staff. Oh, good shot there by Nathan. He's going to follow this ball down and just try to come one rail back over. Oh, no, this is the three. So I thought that was the two in the middle of the table. That's the four. So he just rolls this forward, plays it in the side, rolls down for the five. Matt looks like he's going to get a game here. Make it three, four. And I believe it's going to be Dylan's break. Dan, we'll see you in a little bit then. That's not the final four, uh, TJ Allen. We have uh, eight left. We're getting close. Good shot there. Keeping the games tight here. Dylan made a ball. It's a little kick, but has a good shot at the one.
You know what I need? Like ambiance music. Yeah, and Jay, uh, yeah, Wilkie's still in it. Brandon Schuff got knocked out yesterday. Um, but Wilkie is still in it on the winner side. That match will be up next. You'll see Wilkie and Thomas Haas duke it out. Nice safe here. How's he going to get it? He may have left a decent amount of the ball. I don't think Mike can make it. Oh. Matt with an unfortunate roll there. He couldn't make it. Mike just swung at it. It I didn't bring my cues either today. Don't feel bad. <sighs> All right, both these guys. Dylan making quick work of this rack. Going to go up and back down table. Good shot. Just a touch of outside on that. It's Matt's break. Dylan is up two games again. Right. Nathan on the hill here against Mike. Mike's break though. He's in being down two games, it's you're fighting Nathan on the next break here. You gotta hope something happens. Don't know whether Matt's trying to play safe. It looks like he's trying to play safe here and roll this ball up by the seven. Good shot. What's going on, everybody? How's everybody in the chat doing? I see there we got a ton of people watching. I don't have a lot of people talking.
I see the chat on YouTube. I'll post that bracket real quick so you guys can see. Give me one second here. Joe, I see you listening and watching. I see you, brother. Hopefully you're doing well. Oh, what a shot. Wow. Nathan coming through with a the shot there. In a trance, yeah. Yeah, as in the next, you know, two to three hours, you're going to see some of the, I believe, what some of the best amateur pool playing has. And Mike concedes. Gives him that rack. Nathan's going to walk away with the win there. Yep, that match is coming in. So Mike concedes that match. Matt trying to put together a fight here. Oh, yeah, I was putting this bracket up here. I'm going to put this bracket up for you guys. We got like 20 screens here. There you go. Brackets are out. I'll show you guys. And Matt's keeping the game tight here. We're going to bring you this match here. Give me one second. All right, matches are going back out. I'm doing it all over here. I'm putting the matches out and trying to run the stream. And in a second here, once those guys get back on 10, I'm going to bring you a split view. We got Scott Haas and Steve Fleming going to play on the other stream table over there. And then, depending on the outcome of this match here and how long it takes, we will have father-son duo stream here as, as Thomas will come up and play the bigger match today, Sean Wilkie. Oh, what a good, what a good leave there. A little fortune right there for Dylan. I think I put him in the box. Oh no, the pin. Uh,
All right. We're back, ladies and gentlemen. Had to get the some of the payouts for Mikey there. He's doing it, doing it. Mikey's Mike Soleil finishes nine through twelve. Technically, he's our last nine through twelve, so he finishes ninth in this tournament. As that match was behind one. So now we are in the top eight. I was I was mistaken. I forgot Nathan and Nathan's match was behind one round. But we are all caught up now with our top eight. And our top eight, I'll read them off to you guys. Is Brett Stottlemyre, Nathan Childress, Scott Haas, Steve Fleming, Sean Wilkie, Thomas Haas, Dylan Zafour, and Matt Craw. Determining the outcome here. These guys are... We'll see what happens. Good morning, Mark. How are you doing? Mark Todd McFarland. Welcome. Thanks for tuning in today. Remember, if you like what you see, don't be afraid to like, follow, share, all the above. We're also at On The Hill Productions on YouTube. If you're looking, if you're on Facebook and you're watching, don't be afraid to switch over. Subscribe to On The Hill so anytime this stream goes up, you're notified. You're up, Steve. Dylan, I believe, is on the hill now. Yep, yeah, walking away with the win on that game. Uh, again, there we got Scott Haas and Steve Fleming coming up on table 10. Once they get to the table, I'll start showing you. Thank you, Joe. You're the man. I got a I appreciation for you, brother. You're always, always in the chat. You're always supporting, and I, I love it. Thank you. That's how we grow. We're able to grow, and we're able to bring you more content, better content. I know. Uh, Fortunately, here at Brews, we have some pretty good cameras to show you all. I'm actually working on trying to make sure I can get everything displayed for you guys. Um, by next tournament, I will make sure that you can watch tables 6 through 10 and never miss a moment. Um, I'll try to keep you guys always in the action. Now we got some Steve fans here. Would normally the fans are the ones that have a hand hand in the tournament, a little little horse that they got staked on. And it looks like Matt's gonna bring this within one again. Matt Crawl being from Delaware, I believe he is associated with Bull Carbon. I believe that's where I met him first. I think I met him at the expo last year in the Bull Carbon booth. for this long nine. And he puts it down. Good shot there, Matt. All right, looks like we're going to bring you Steve Fleming got Scott Haas. Scott looks like he's over there hitting a few balls around. 
and then I'll keep you updated because we also have Nathan Childress and Brett Stoudemire playing on table seven. And I can I can keep an eye on that match for you and try to keep you up to date with what the score is. Uh, a little hard, though, because, you know, these guys don't like keeping score on their phone. They'll, they'll just tell me afterwards. Makes it a little harder for me to let you guys know. And Dylan coming in with the nine ball on the break. Oh, knows it's got a spot. And it knows it's going to spot right above the four. Let's get one look at that real quick. Let's see what we got here. If it doesn't go on the spot, it goes just behind. And Matt's spotting that ball up. Good stuff. All right, let's get you back in the action here. Matt's grinding. He's grinding to stay in this match here. Got some oh, Matt Crawl fans of Dylan. I believe he just made a router, that error just because the frustration from pocketing the nine, knowing that if he didn't pocket the nine, if the two didn't come down and make it, he was going to leave an easy, an easy out there with a, a two nine combo. TJ Allen, Wilkie getting another <laughs> Maryland State. Uh, it's a strong possibility. He's still on the winner's side. Now I got to tell you though, tough match coming up for Sean here. Thomas Haas is not one to be underestimated. I've watched him play. He plays well. I believe Matt was going for a safe there and just let the let the one get away from him. Oh, good stroke by Dylan. So a little far. I don't think I got Steve there yet, so we're gonna switch back here. We're gonna stay on give the action here on the tables. Six till we get Table 10 going, and we might be running these both at the same time. Do see Sean Wilkie over there getting himself ready. Oh, what a shot there. Knowing he had to break the four out, and knowing he had to hit the the nine on the right side to roll up for the three. Catch the nine thin and roll up for the three. All right. I got Steve walking down to the table. A few seconds here. I'll be bringing you a little action on table 10. Uh, if this ball stays, because this looks like uh, Matt's not out. He's If Dylan pockets these balls, he'll be waiting for a second to get a matchup on the loser's side. Again, this is a true double elimination tournament. <laughs> I got a look that sound like Mr. Mel in here. You are not wrong there, TJ Allen. Wilkie's experience and knowledge is par, and Dylan is taking this match here. Dylan advances, is now guaranteed third. And we will see who his opponent is here next. As soon as they, I'll go in and I'll, I'll change these scores myself. Let's see what we got here. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Here's the matchup coming at you. Sean Wilkie, Thomas Haas. And we got the Haases playing. You know, Steve. <laughs> yeah, Dylan knocking it down. <laughs> More Sephora. 
Yeah. And these guys are getting ready to, to duke it out. I'm looking here. Brett's going for a jump on table eight. What a shot by Brett rolling out. I wish I could bring you a little bit of that table eight action. That was a hell of a jump. Pocketing the one and getting shape on the two ball as well. This is what I love. I love to be able to bring you and swap between all these tables. But I tell you, next tournament, you'll have all of them. Dylan came here today. He means business. He is ready. Oh, they have them. We're just going to make them available. We got to, I got to figure out how I can make them available to me. We were trying to work the kinks out before the start of the day so I could at least bring you some of the action from each. But I'll make sure we, we get it squared away for the next one. And here's the lag. Come down. Looks like Sean's getting the first break. That's big in this this race to seven. You know, I feel like when you get to this caliber of player and these people, it's you know the break is the decider for this caliber of player. Jonathan says, "Good luck, Wilkie." <laughs> here, here it is, Mr. Mel. How are you doing, buddy? He's hanging in. Yeah. I believe, I'll tell you here, Mr. Mel. He's, he's talking about one of his horses. He wanted to see who knocked him out. A guy named Steve Ball. Yep. Steve Ball knocked out his uh, favorite. And, you know, somebody I think actually really could have been, really is a favorite in this tournament. Has a, the percentages higher. Dave Beagle. Uh, just recently found out he's an instructor and been teaching a few people. Okay, they are keeping score. Brett Stottlemyre is up two to one on Neath. Good stuff. All right, back to the action here. I didn't want that ball to get tied up. Man, looks like he might have tied it up with the, the eight ball there. Oh, Scott with a nice bump off of, uh, I think he was playing safe, though. A little unfortunate. Uh, Wilkie, I think, is going to play safe off of this three here. I think he's just going to 
kick it down the table to the diamond and use the 4-8 to protect it. There you go. Oh, and leaves them over the 6. There he goes, ladies and gentlemen. We have both Haases at the table. Team Haas, I'm with it. Scott's going for the short cue. Tom's going for, I believe, the, I think he might go for the, the two rail or the one rail. That's not bad. Oh, he's going to leave a shot here, though, for Sean. I'm um, kind of curious if the four, let's, let's take a look here, see if the four goes past the eight in, this, in the corner here. I don't think it does. I don't think it does. I don't know why. Scott's getting that jump cue. We'll keep it here. See what Sean does here. A good shot there, getting behind the ball. Now let's get back in the action. Scott's up at the table, ready to jump this ball. I don't want to miss another jump. Uh, and I'm, what's up, Bob? If I had to guess who your horses are, I'm going to go with, uh, um, if you have three of them still in, I'm going to go with maybe Nathan. I mean, Wilkie, if you got him, that's a good, that's a sure thing almost to be in the money in a tournament like this. Scott going to the air. And now say Dylan. Oh, making a phenomenal shot, but not getting fortunate. What an attempt. Trying to cut that ball down the corner and hit it good. Sean made a good shot on the four. Now he's making quick work of this rack. Just. This is ideal for any pool player here. You're shooting stop shots from here on out. That's that's ideal. Yep. John, yep, it is Wilkie and Thomas. They are both on the winner's side. Race to seven on this winner's side. Race to six on the loser side. I'd love to tell you that they're keeping score, but they are not. I don't know what the score of their match is because I cannot see the scoreboard. But I'll try to, I'll get up here in a minute and try to keep you up to date with the score. I know everybody's kind of curious. I believe. I believe that was the first rack. Hmm. Yes. Thank you. Hmm. Let me know what you guys think of the uh, split screen here. I threw it together really quick this morning, trying to make sure I can get the action on both of these tables. Oh, looked like that rack might have been a little loose. And he's not going to get a look at the one here. Oh, no, and Steve getting underneath that eight. Now he's got to – I think Steve will play safe here if he can see that. The majority of that seven ball, he'll think he'll just draw it back below the nine and let the seven come up, come up table. And if he can't see it, I think he'll just cut it up table and try to leave, bring himself off the long rail, short rail, back behind the nine. Oh, he went to go fire that ball in the side pocket. What a shot. That's confidence.
these angles make it look a little <laughs> a little steeper. He, he obviously had a little bit more of that ball in the side than I thought. I get his 1-0. That's what I'll do here. I'm going to come here. I believe Wilkie won that last rack. Running that out. I'm just going to try to keep that score up to date there. Steve coming away with the first rack there. Both Haas is down one rack now. Thomas, I believe, trying to kick, kick and stick here. Oh, no. Actually, I think he was trying to clip that wall thin, sending the cue back behind the 6, 9, and 5. Just missing that ball. Give Wilkie ball in hand. Normally, you give Wilkie ball in hand. This is it's game over. Oh, okay. Well, yep.
right. Sorry about that. <laughs> DJ Kevin is not Travis today. Uh, Travis is out winning other things today. I believe he's out with uh, Manning Motorsports. Doing a little bit of racing and winning. Had to go back and check on this score. These guys aren't keeping score on their phone. So I'm trying to make sure I didn't miss anything. I took a bathroom break, came back, and game was over. We have a even ball game on both fields here. All right, guys, if you're watching, let me know where you're watching from. Let me see how many out-of-state people we have who are following Brew's Facebook page on the Hill Productions. Let's see how many we have. Florida, wow. Wow. TJ said, my house. Uh, good job, TJ. I think he said it wrong, though. Oh, Nestor's coming in from her couch. Sterling, Virginia. Ohio, Delaware, wow. We got people from PA. Delaware, Ohio. Southern Maryland. Florida. Their couches. We got them coming from everywhere. James is in a camper at the Expo parking lot. James, I'll see you uh, later today, brother. Uh, <laughs> answer, you can answer my question here. Did they finally get the um, – the Expo had a, um, a little person wrestling event this weekend. Dylan's hometown – <laughs> Some Lancaster PA. Oh, said <laughs> the dwarf wrestling was awesome. Yep, I'll see you later today. Looking at trying to play the two nine here, Thomas is. I think coming back two rails and trying to hit it or trying to go into it now. And Scott's at the table making quick work of this rack. Yeah, they told us the uh Expo said you can come up and stay in the parking lot, but you can't get a spot until Monday morning. And Scott making quick work of that, and it is Steve's break. Yeah, I think he's coming over here to play that 2-9 or possibly push the 
the two. Let's get a look at this camera here, or at least push the two and just past the nine and roll up on that nine ball. Doesn't want to leave a one rail kick, but the six makes that pretty tough. Want to make sure he gets it pretty clean in there. I think he was just looking to hold that ball. Hold the two there, and I think he was trying to roll him up on that 5-7. All right, back to the action on both tables. Steve getting ready to break off. Steve making the three ball on the break, but no, no good look at the one. It'll be a push out here by Steve, and Sean's going to play safe here. Tuck him up on the four. Yeah, I don't think he got him. I believe Thomas can bank this ball into the six. The six is pretty deep in the pocket. And the way I'm looking at it here, I can see it on the table, and the bank looks pretty square. Uh, looks like he may have to, to try to pinch it a little bit. The six is on the right side of your pocket. So when you're looking at the screen there, the six is actually on the, the right side of that pocket a little further out. Gotta hit this one good. Try to hold for that three. I think he was just saving. Going for the safe, I hope so, because he's leaving Sean and out here. Yeah, he's got room to see that ball. More Dylan fans. Oh, he said, you've been in your spot since Saturday morning. Oh, see, we were told otherwise. We wanted to come down. We were going to come down Saturday afternoon and get a spot and hang out. And we were told no. No, you don't get a spot until you pay for it, is what we, we were told by the Expo staff. It's a good save here. Looks like it's going to roll up just right on the two ball. Scott Haas with a great shot there. What a shot. Steve giving him a little lip. <laughs> Down him. That's not right. Donnie's brick oven pizza watching from work, huh? I hope you're working or you're just hanging out. I'm surprised Mike, I'm surprised Soleil wasn't at the wrestling. Oh, Steve trying to make an effort to hit that ball. Tough shot, tough ball to hit. Wilkie coming around. Looks like he's going to bank the four. Greg Steven in the house. Look at him. He's over there. Sitting here doing things. Wilkie knew he missed that bank coming through, but getting a little fortunate here. I believe we might see Thomas bring the short stick out. Oh, no. Okay, Scott catching that point just beside the side pocket. Thought he was going to. Catch himself on the point on the other side or to. Unfortunately, scratch. Now this, this shot here opens the rack up if he can. Oh, he's banking that two ball back. I uh, didn't think he was going to bank the two ball back. I knew it was going to be hard to get shape, but it's seven, seven in a touchy spot with the six not relatively close. Thomas going to the air and making a good shot. Is he going to get past the nine? 
He does. What a great shot by Thomas there. Kept his composure, stayed together. Good shot by Steve there, coming below that side pocket. Which table does Dylan play against? Uh, so Dylan is waiting for the winner of this match here. And then what we're going to bring you next is we got two matches up. And we're going to bring you two of our loser side matches. And then we're going to play that hot seat match between whoever the winners are. So we have a little bit before they play. We're catching up on the loser side here. So that's our... That was our final four on the winner side. We're playing our final four on the loser side now. This is our last Thomas and Wookie is our last winner side match. The next round is for the hot seat. And Steve make quick work of this rack here. Thomas doing the same. Oh, no. He's putting himself right up on that. I think he might have rolled good enough. Uh, the pockets here are four and a quarter. And uh, these two tables in particular actually play a little tighter because these are the old smart tables. So the shelf is actually a lot deeper. So you have a tendency to hang a ball a little bit more on these tables than you do on any of the other tables. And Tom's making a good shot there. Scott up. It says three to one. Unless, I, unless I'm missing something and they're not keeping track of score. Good shot there by Thomas. And let's update this for you. Thomas taking a one-game lead here. Mr. Molinaro is saying 4.5. I'll take that. He would probably know a little bit better than I do. Should be 2-2. Two, two. Uh, let me get up and check the score again to make sure. Uh, their score up there said it is 2-1 in favor of Thomas Haas. And I'll be right back with you all. I'm going to go order some food. Because Bruce has pretty awesome food. And I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. Yes, Steve did scratch, unfortunately, on that nine. Uh, I'm back. Uh, Brett Stottlemyre beating Nathan Childress six to two in timely manner. Their match only being 42 minutes long. We're going to hold off a minute. All right, back here, yeah, Brett taking down Nathan in, in a big upset here, and I believe um, Brett now is up to play Matt Crawl. Be bringing you that match shortly, let him. Pepper Jack. like Scott's getting around here. Ready to take a four to one lead here. We got young Thomas at the table. I think he's looking. I don't think the six may go in the corner. We'll see if he shoots his ball and just comes straight down the long rail. Maybe coming off that long rail just a hair. Yeah, I believe this ball goes in the corner. Trying to see here. They're discussing something. I didn't see. Too busy watching Thomas play for the six here. Oh, yeah. Six goes well past the nine. About an inch and a half away from each other. And he pockets that ball. <laughs> see, for me, it's funny because here, seven, looking at it. If I look over the monitor here, looking at this seven ball. It's got a little bit more cut than what you think. Um, if I had to think, I think Thomas draws this ball just below the nine, just passing the nine ball with a little bit of outside spin coming into that second rail, playing the eight in the same pocket. Or you might just opt to play it straight draw and come right back down and roll back out, risking putting himself on the rail but staying on the right side of the ball with the eight. Oh, he went, he went between, good shot. Good shot going between those balls. Mm. Swept his feet. And Scott did take that last rack going up four to one. And Thomas going up three to one against Sean Wilkie here. That's a good out there. Scott coming in here, getting short side on the two. Uh, I 
I think uh, I think it's really only problem ball maybe the five and the just because he's got to play tight position for the four in the side. Oh, he opted to play safe here instead of trying to cut that ball. And you know, not a bad decision, I don't think, on his part. Uh, Wilkie here. He's got a clean look at the one, but only a combination available with a little bit of distance. You know, this could be big if he if he pockets this combination. He's he's risking a little bit here. Ah, what I order. Actually, so Bruce has let me look here. Bruce has some new specials. Let's go on the side table. Looks like this one passes. It does. Uh, so I got the turkey melt. Hold on, give me one second to talk to Mr. Brett Stoudemont. All right, I'm taking an administrative break, and I'm going to eat some food. I'll be right back, y'all.
had to come back after that shop I got. Sorry. What a shop. Kicking that ball and getting a kiss in the side. Try to clean myself up here. Wow, what a shot. You know, I tell people, fortune favors the brave. If you're willing to fire to kick, anything can happen. Jacking up on this ball, trying to get some type of shot on the five. Oh, wow. Scott hit that good. Tom's coming here for a four game lead. The big shot. I believe he's got to play the three little ball with a little bit of low left to come back below the side pocket and back out for the five in the side. He hit it good. Shot by Thomas. And Scott's taking this match here. Good shooting by Scott Haas. Steve Fleming finishing seventh in this tournament. Scott Haas taking the uh, the win over that. We'll bring you here. As Thomas starts to run away with this so far almost one-sided match. I believe it's Sean's break. But here's the big thing about Sean Wilkie here. He, uh, there is no quit in Mr. Wilkie. He will continue to keep grinding and grinding. All right. All right, Wilkie set to break. Let me update the score here. We are now 5-1. That was with a demanding lead. Adds a little bit of pressure. Oh, no, no. Okay, he stays on the table. Ability to push here. Um, I believe he may just push to tie something up. Let's see what he's looking at here. I'll try to mix it up for you. Winner of this match advances to play Dylan for the hot seat. And then we have two. We're, we're down to six after this match. Scott advances. Uh, he pushed out just a little bit, I think. Thomas may give this back.
All right, we are back here. Wife loves sending me Facebook notifications. Shot here by Thomas. And if I'm correct, Thomas looks like looks good to get on the hill here. You know, folks, I got to put it out there. We may have a uh, a Haas Haas Hill 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 match and. Thomas is now on the hill leading five racks against Sean Wilkie. Pool shooting robots, says John. Yeah. I told you, I mean, there's something in this kid's eyes. You see it going. Thank you. Big matchup here. Big, big matchup here. Remember, everybody, if you want to see people play this game, you want to support these guys, like, share, build the support. It's not only supporting us, it's getting their name out there, too. Uh, Thomas with a solid break, but no good look at the one. We're here at Bruising Cues on the Boulevard. If you're watching and you want to get out of the house, come on up. Yes, Molinero, he is smooth. He is smooth as silk. This is a huge match, 6-1. I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong, Chris. And Tom's going in the air here. And really, what a shot while wow. staying aggressive, knowing he wants to close this match out. Staying aggressive. Wow. Wow. believe, folks, after going forward three rails here and coming around for the four, I believe it goes in that corner past the seven. Uh, we'll see here how he shoots his three if he comes three rails. He's, he's coming in one rail. I think he's going to play the four nine. The four must not pass the seven. He's looking at playing the four nine here. 
taking this match home. And Thomas Haas, that's it, folks. Thomas Haas with the tremendous win over Sean Wilkie. Playing great pull. All right, next up, folks, on the stream table, table six, we got Brett Stottlemyre. Matt Crawl. And then we're going back to table 10. And you're going to see Sean Wilkie and Scott Haas. Matches are out, folks. Brett's looking at his phone. Matt's coming up to the table. Brett's bringing his stuff up ready for action. You're next. Oh, he tried. He tried. He's not out of it yet. He's coming right back up. This is it, folks. It's your final six. After these two matches, you're going to watch the Dylan Sephora Thomas Haas hot seat match. Along with the winner of each match advancing forward on these two losers brackets. Could it be Scott Haas, Matt Craw, Brett Stoudemire, Sean Wilkie, Wilkie Craw? Haas Stottlemyre. Let's see how it goes. Let's dive right back into the action. Brett set to break in this match. These two guys were ready to get it on. Scott over there ready. He is making a statement for sure. Says Dawn. He is. If you're tuned in, don't leave yet. The action's still going with good matchups here. Matt at the table. He's going to try to make quick work of Brett here. Matt with a strong shot. I don't know whether you guys watched about a month ago. Matt Crawl and Thomas Haas went after it in Delaware. Um, and that was commentated by Jeremy Jones himself, Mr. JJ. And, uh, Matt shot phenomenal coming away with the win in that race to, I believe it was a race to 15 or 13 and uh, winning by a couple racks there. Scott is ready. Scott Haas is ready. Ashley, it's absolutely right. Let's go, Scott. Big matchup for him. We're here on table six watching Matt crawl go after it. He's trying to 
to make a statement himself. Oh no. And he left it. The lag from Sean Wilkie and Scott Haas. Sean Wilkie looks like he's winning the lag there. Good lag by both gentlemen. And Mr. Wilkie is set to break first in this matchup on the loser side. These are our last two loser side matchups. The, the winners play each other in the next round. And we will have both of these matches streamed. We'll be playing the hot seat match and I mean, I guess you would <laughs> you'd play the match for fourth on this side. Here, these guys are playing for fifth, six here. You know, going home with a little bit of money in your in your your pride tucked between your legs. Knowing you made it this far, and the competition just got extremely harder. Look at these guys. These guys are top of the line in Maryland. For everybody who can't see the names, I know it's a little small, but I wanted to make sure you could see the scores. You have Sean Wilkie breaking on the right side of your screen. You got Matt Crawl from Delaware breaking on the left side of your screen. Again, these guys aren't keeping score on table six. I'm going to try to keep track here. I believe Brett came with the first match there. And we just started on table 10 on the right side of your screen. Scott may be playing a defense here. Uh, a little bit, I think he let a little, little bit of that ball leak out. And Matt's coming after Brett again here. A pretty, you know, I would, I would, I would kind of want to say a uh, cookie cutter layout here, but difficult shot being from the three to the four. Everything else relatively close. Natural position from the four, five, six. Everything else is pretty. I mean, if you look at it on the table, they connect. He gets pretty good on this three. Doesn't want to be shooting over the seven. I think he's all right. He just follows this ball down, coming between the seven and the four. Or you know, we'll see what he opts to do here. He did play that in between the seven and the four. And shot it with a good speed. You'll see him. I think he'll just try to pinch this ball back off the rail, right about where it is now. Oh, Scott doing good there. Oh, he drew it back a little bit more, giving himself the angle to come between the seven and the six, so he can shoot the six in the side pocket. But again, these camera angle on the tables the tendency to lie a little bit he, he was a little flatter on that ball than I thought had to hit the seven and he came good above the seven ball here Oh no, two games in a row, he's gonna give him that one. 
and the frustration setting in on Matt here. Knowing you, you just gave your player a three ball run out. Now Brett's up two, two games in this race is six, but this is nine ball, ladies and gentlemen. Two or three games ahead doesn't mean you're out in nine ball. Where the, I think where the factor lies is that this is an alternating break format and can can make it tough when you're giving your opponent. You know, look at these numbers up here, people, for Farco's. Everybody's close to 700, 745, 721 from the Maryland State Champion, APA Champion. Brett Stoudemire winning that over the summer. Representing his hometown of Pasadena. Oh no, and Brett taking an unfortunate scratch there. Now this could be the change here. This, that's what I said, folks. This is nine ball. Anything can happen. You catch a high gear after he gets put on the loser's side. I believe that. I don't think these guys are keeping score down there, and they're a little too far away for me to see. So we're not going to know the score of this match besides if we keep paying attention. And Matt trying to, to keep it together here. Knew he just gave two games away. Trying to get back in it. Scott at the table. Again, oh no, Matt. Matt again. Missing a few of the easier shots. Not the easiest, but just misjudging that corner just a little bit. Same corner he missed the seven in. Brett coming down. Not sure if the five passes the eight. Obviously, it might. It must have to. Let's get a look at here. Yeah, it does. It does pass the eight. And Scott over here making work of this rack here. Brett not necessarily getting the spin. I think he wanted off of that, taking a long cut on the six here. But if I know Brett, I see you're going to see Brett hit this with a little bit of pace. It'll be up and down the rails. Here it comes. And he overcuts a ball. Wow. <laughs> he looks over. He says, how do you overcut it? All right, Matt, keep yourself together here. Don't allow yourself to make the mistakes again. <laughs> it is. There you go, Matt. Keep yourself in. Keep yourself in the rack. Scott down on this nine here. I don't know the score of Scott's match because they're not keeping it. Uh, I do know the score of this match here. Matt getting on the board. That's a big game in this race to six. Am I down 3-0 or am I still in it at 2-1? Well, they say they say the misses can be contagious. Matt missed two of those balls, and you saw Brett do the same. The nine swept his feet, but it still went in. No. <laughs> 
finally got a score here. Was that the first rack? That was a 15 minute rack of nine ball. You know, I, I take it as, you know, these guys know. Oh, what a good nudge on the one for Scott. Matt with a nice break, but looks dry. Scott getting a little fortune. That two came around and nudged that one right in the heart of the side pocket. And here, no real big problems. The only issue from the five to the six, do you play the combo or do you try to come short side on the six? We'll have to see what he gets on the five. If I had to imagine if he gets relatively straight on the five, he's going to play the combo knowing that you don't want to risk it. Brett pushed out for a bank here. Matt's playing the tidy safe here. You'll see Brett go over the short stick here. I think he's got enough of the ball to get over. Yep. Yeah, there he goes. He's grabbing the short stick. And let's see if we can show you another jump here. But Mr. Stottlemyre looks like he's going to be relatively straight on this ball. I think he's settling for the combo on the 8-6-8 eight, eight combo. Brett in the air. Oh, just catching that ball. It's a shame. Oh, Matt's going for the, the early nine and missing it. And making it cross side. Wow. Wow. We have a tie game at two apiece. Scott going to get this to roll up. And actually, cutting this ball on the side is not bad. <laughs> Offering good position. Coming three rails for the nine for Scott here. I feel like all you have to do with this ball is just make it. Make sure you don't hit that, that line going towards that corner pocket. Uh, Bert Kenister always says that if you come across the center of a table, you can never scratch. He hit this. Looks like it's going to be a little light, but still good. See, he's coming towards that second diamond. Brett getting up here. Going to try to make quick work of this rack he broke here. I think this is the shot here for the four. He comes around for the five. Getting a little flat on the side pocket. Oh no, and Scott hanging the nine, giving it to Sean. Brett drifts it in. Oops. Pretty good on the nine. I think he shoots a stop shot. A little bit of angle on the seven. He'll hook on one rail. Maybe utilize that second rail for the eight ball. Yep, here he comes, coming off that second rail. He'll just he'll just cinch this ball here unless he feels good, and then he'll draw it out. Yep. Might draw a little too far, leaving a tough cut here. No give me's here. And he finds the center of the pocket.
Shaw with a thunderous break there. Looks like he's going to get a good look at the one. Coming through with a good break there. Clean shot on the one. Wilkie clearing this rack up to take a, a one game lead here. Good shot by Matt. He's playing the two seven combo. Can't imagine if much can go wrong here unless the two comes off the rail and nudges up on the nine, not giving him a shot. But I imagine he hits this soft enough to keep the two there. Yes, good shot. <laughs> Sean is making moves around the table. He said, I'm ready to get it over with. Matt coming around, uh, might get good on the four here. A little bit of a cut, six being available in the side pocket though. I think in the, for this, you just gotta make sure you find, you don't find that uh, eight ball. He's coming behind in front of it actually, yeah, good shot. I think you'll see him feather this ball in. You're right, Rick. Alternate break is a coin flip at this. I mean, with these this caliber of guys, it's, you know, uh, the two balls getting in a tough spot, but the three ball combo, the two, four, and six looks available, but I don't think the one is on. I think if you see it, you see him, you know, he may push here. Tried to stick him behind the nine there. A little too much speed. Brett. Missing that eight ball. That's two balls there. Matt giving Brett an opportunity. And, and look at this shot by Matt. Oh, it's getting a little tidier. I'm getting stuff thrown at me. Oh yeah, we forgot. We, yeah, forgot. Now we can seal them. I believe Matt came away with that game there. Well, somebody in the chat, let me know if I'm right or wrong. But I believe Matt won that game. He did not. Did he miss? Did Matt miss the nine ball? 
He missed. Oh, man. See, it's what happens. You take your eyes off for a second. Yeah, Bev's throwing stuff at me in the booth here. Oh, no. Thank you, chat, for keeping me in the loop here. Ah, oh, what a big miss by Matt. Just when I thought he was catching a gear, I see Brett make two two mistakes there. And now Brett's with this layout here looking pretty good. And I think this is a shot. Uh, he's, I think he's got to come around table on this. Is this a, I think he's trying to hold for the cut. Oh no, he's just, that's the four ball up there. I'm, I should look at the table and not the screen. Good shot there. Nice bounce. I think he just shoots the stop here, nudges the nine and plays the seven. Oh, he had room. That's why I don't like watching on the stream, you know? It looks like they're straight in. Yeah. I'm telling you, it looked like he was straight in on that ball. Obviously not, because he came up for the seven and making quick work of this rack. And he's first to the hill here. Matt with a... You know, I'm not going to write Matt out of it. I have watched him in this tournament, actually, come back from a deficit... About the same. Because again, folks, this is alternating break nine ball. Did you get them out already? Okay. After this, you're going to see about a four minute administrative break so we can send out the prizes, take some pictures. But don't leave because we got a huge match coming back up with Dylan, Dylan and Thomas. Dylan been playing great this tournament. Thomas, you just watched him put on a clinic against Sean Wilkie. Oh, look at the score right here. I mean, Thomas put, yeah, Thomas put a clinic on, on Sean. He, uh, he shot great. Uh, not many opportunities for Sean here. Matt going to come around. I think he's going to try to come above this five, between the five, six, two rails. He hit that good. Like I said, folks, you're not counting counting them out. He's got options here. He can draw this ball back for the seven. Best player in the building, Dylan. Says Butch. Butch says Dylan's best player in the building. Uh... Harvith. I was about to say, I think, I think, I think Sean has really got to be. Dylan's one. Matt and Thomas have not won it.
Brett returning the break and run. And again, this is the alt, the uh, this is the handicap for this tournament. If you really want to say this is the handicap for these high level players, is the alternating break. Oh no, Wilkie scratching on his break. Yep, scratch in the corner. And Brett coming through with the victory there, knocking Matt out. It should be uh
All right, ladies and gentlemen, Brett Modelsteyer advances forward. I said Modelsteyer. Stottlemyer. Brett Stottlemyer. That took me a second. I was like, oh, I said that completely wrong. Um, he will advance, and he's waiting the winner of this match right here, Sean Wilkie and Scott Haas. Smon Silky. Uh, that's what they say, Mr. Get Some. You know, I was talking to somebody the other day, said he's a, Sean is a big disc golf person. Yes, and he's such a chocolate too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he did. I thought it was him taking pictures. I was like, is that Sean Wilkie taking pictures of me? I was like, all right. I thought it was supposed to be the other way around. Oh, you can't put that past Sean, Matt. He he does play. He does do well on the loser's side. Yeah. I know I could have used something. That's true. Sean taking his time here. Got real quiet in the pool hall. I should tell Josh Muhammad over there play some music. I think anything is better than nothing. <laughs> Yeah, stop playing games, Bev. She's <laughs> playing Candy Crush. No, I'm not. I'm just sorting groceries. <laughs> oh, yeah, even better. <laughs> even better. Oh, Sean coming close to hitting the one. What's going on, Mr. Mel? Yeah, they're getting ready to play each other. <laughs> In the beginning. All right, Scott trying to make up some of the leeway here. Oh, no. God, I'm telling you, the commentator's curse is the worst thing ever. As soon as I say Scott's getting ready to make up some leeway, here he is. He, he, he jarred that six ball in the side pocket.
here Sean's going to get on the hill. And I believe he's breaking on the hill. It is. That's why I wanted to wait. Yeah, I'm going to put this out now. Because we're one game away here. We already... I know. I can. It won't look good. But I can. <laughs> but I won't be able to. I could show. I mean, I guess I could. It won't be as good as a view. All right, here we are. We'll get breaking this. Could be deciding rack here. All right, let's see what Sean can do here. Side pocket available for the one. Doesn't really have to worry about the position on the two here. He knows he's going to run into the three. The top piece of the three, kind of holding there for the two on the side. He's looking at it. I think he's looking at the eight. If he does come straight out off of that ball. Oh, he took on the bank. Good shot. Didn't want to risk running into all these balls. Didn't want to move the three. Didn't want to have the potential of moving the eight. I think here you may see him go forward one rail. Out for the three in the corner. Trying to be relatively straight. A little off the rails. Good. We'll see if he uses the second rail to guarantee that angle. I think he just floats it over. Yeah, he's looking at it now. Oh, he went forward. He must have been pretty straight on the two, and that's a lot straighter than what it looked like to me. Ooh, John getting a little thin on the five here. Looking to go three rails out. After he catches this five.
Call it the point coming out. See what he does here. I think he plays safe, push, pushes the seven up on the nine. Tries to tuck him on the eight here. Two rails trying to come underneath. Oh, he's trying to get the cue ball in the middle of diamond. The, the mental side of the game where you really think about what you want to do where you know you're on the hill you don't want to open up a you don't want to open up a opportunity for your opponent to come back in the match Went with his original thought, trying to leave him distance. You Knew he couldn't hide the ball. This is nine ball. You know, feel. You're down five to one. Why not take your opportunity here? Try to cut that seven over into the nine. I think he's looking at it. Yeah, they say, oh, he took on the bank. Good shot, Scott. Nice bank. Firing it in. A uh, three-digit number next to their name is their Fargo rating. That's uh, Brenda Dad's. That's their Fargo rating. And Scott gets out of that game pretty good. It's two to five now with Scott breaking. One of the most entertaining things I've seen all day. Beverly stacking groceries up <laughs> on her phone. <laughs> I'm just sitting here watching her go to town. <laughs> uh, <it laughs> it's got set to break this match here. Still waiting for the start of Thomas and Dylan. I'm waiting for him to start. Sean.
This looks like a tidy defense. Good shot by Scott. I think you'll see Sean maybe consider it. I don't think I don't think Sean's a big jumper, is he? I, th I mean, I believe he can. Fargo rating of 745. I think you could jump. I'm just not sure if he... he I think he's just weighing his options out. Is he going to split these balls? I'm not really leaving any shot. Now he's got a little gap there. Oh, good. Sending it out again. Maybe maybe Thomas didn't get it. Going for the bank. Barely missing it, but leaving it in the pocket. Yeah. <laughs> you over there. Huh? I kind of really kind of stuck in the corner over here. <laughs> now, Sean, looking at the 3 9 here. I think he knows three is not readily available. You trying to hit me? I did hit you. Why? Because yeah, I can. That's fair. The abuse I take in the booth. Right. Bye bye. <laughs> and it falls. Sean takes that set. He carom the three nine. And that score's pending. It went away. All right, next up. I can do the go do the pictures.
All right. Thomas just, or TJ just getting back and realizing he missed a lot because he decided to close out the stream. We're here at Bruising Cues. This is the hot seat match you're watching here between Thomas and Dylan. And then uh, we got a match down in the corner. Let's get the split screen going. They've just started. This is the first rack for Wilkie and Brett Stoudemire. Two heavy matchups here. Wilkie just coming through, holding off Scott Haas. And Brett Stoudemire with a big win over Matt Crawl, who was shooting well. He's not going to get what he wanted here. He's going to leave an open shot, letting Sean get in it. Both both tables on the six and the seven here. Uh, one combination, the other one not. All right, looks like both of these guys are set to get out here. And here, you're looking pretty good for both layouts. Thomas knocking down this first rack here. And I don't think either, either side is going to keep score, so I've got to be on my P's and Q's here to make sure that this is... Oh, digital pool doesn't work with me, baby. Come on. I believe the score now is one Thomas and one Wilkie. Oh, they're keeping score down there. That's good. They're keeping track. Matt, we are one nothing in this match between Thomas and Dylan. Thomas first on the board. And Brett here looks like an opportunity if the one goes just past. It does. Good shot there. Uh, now the three here, I believe, if you know, he hits this good enough. Does he play position for the four thinking he's going to make the three? Yeah. Thomas with a good break. Not offering anything good here. I mean, a safety play. And Brett knocking in the nine there early. Way to go, Brett. I'll wait to see if that score changes. If it doesn't, I'll put it in. Dylan making the ball. Not sure if he made contact. I believe he made contact with the one. <laughs> Knowing that there's nothing really offering up any anything good.
Un sopoli. Kind of curious and see how that's going. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting back in the action here. We see his 2-1, Brett Stoudemire. And we're still in the second rack here. These guys are, oh, 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 wow, what a shot. Getting geared up for a big finals here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just getting stuff set up for this final match we have here today. Sorry, I've been a little mute there for a second. Uh, we're watching the action on both of these tables. I'm just trying to make sure I give you guys a good finals. Right, Dylan looks like he's giving Thomas quite an opening here.
we're looking here. Ooh, Sean almost hanging that ball there. Thomas looks like he's going to get out here. Good shot with a big bounce off the rail. And he does. Dylan gives him the, the ball there. Doing a little bit of work here. We're going to see what we can do. All right, we're here. I'm going to try to keep you guys, I'm going to dig back into this. I was just getting something together, trying to keep it fresh for you guys. Alrighty. All right, we're back in it. Thomas won that last rack. I'm going to keep track of that. And we're 2 2 on the bottom side. Well, I tell you, Brett Stottlemyre's scores have been, or games, well, let me not say scores have been. Dom T with the cash payouts for the brackets. Um, you're more welcome to come to Brews and Cues. We kind of keep that on the hush for the payouts. Just know that these players are doing well. Don't ever like to put somebody else's business out there and what they have. Thomas, good shot there. Uh, he's going to let it leak, though, and give Dylan a shot on the side. This is a big dog tournament here. Um, stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, because I tell you, um, we've got one more big match coming up here, right? And then um, we are going to do something special for you guys. Try to get something together for the finals. So we have the semifinals that are going to come up here. A winner of this will advance to the finals. The loser will go to play the winner of Wilkie and Brett Stoudemire. And then we'll see what goes on in the finals. I'll make sure everybody here knows what we got. But I believe what we're going to do is we're going to kill the stream for about five to ten minutes because I want the finals to be its own match. I want I want the, the players to really, who've earned to be in the finals, I want them to really, really have that experience of 
This is it. This is the final match for us. They've earned their way. They've played great to get here. There we go. Dylan now has a game on the board. If it'll let me make an adjustment. That game should be there. Yes, it is. Quiet in the house. Let's go Thomas Haas in the chat. Ashley's a fan. Thomas with a good break. Looks like the one is going to come up for the side pocket. I don't think the one is available in the side. Or the corner if he chooses to play it in the corner. A little bit tougher shot, but almost guarantees three rail position for the three. Gonna see what we can play here. Give all these guys a little motivation. Just a little motivation to keep playing. Keep keep dedicating your your time. Stay focused. <laughs> Allow these players to really feel it. You know? Get a little music going. Sometimes I feel like if I don't, if there's no music playing around here, they can hear me. Sometimes I feel that way. Sometimes I feel like they just hear what we're saying. Lehigh Valley. Want to make Lehigh Valley proud. That's what that's what we got in the chat here. Big matchup.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're here on the final four. Thomas, I think, just has enough to see that two ball in the corner. <laughs> Does. Try to do something while we're live here. If I interrupt at all, feel free to yell at me. I feel like that doesn't look good. So we're going to move that. Yeah, that. Just for a second, I told him ahead of time. I said, if you see something, let me know. I had to test that image to see if the watermark actually stayed or went. And it did not stay. Oh. And the scratch. Yep, he went to go cut the one. I think the two is in a difficult spot. That in order to hit it, you got to play pretty good position. And Wilkie and Brett are going after it here. They are keeping it close. I think Dylan's chasing this one nine because I don't think he really has opportunity for the two I mean I, I would almost pull, softly play the one to the seven I believe it goes by if not the seven you have the three and he leaves the one in the pocket I, I have to say I, I, if you're Thomas do you bank the one back to the nine Well, you cannot. You can't give Dylan too many opportunities at all. Doesn't look like he's going to. Well, he might have changed his mind. Didn't look like he was going to go for the bank there at first. I think he's looking at bringing the cue ball around and running into it and not playing the straight bank. Taking his time, knows this is a big rack. Yeah. I'm with you, Joy. I say bank it. And he did. Not good enough. What's he going to leave? He's going to leave a pretty easy combo here, knowing he just gave him ball in hand again. He gives him the rack. He'll be kicking himself for that one. Oh, Wilkie scratching on the break.
Oh no, Dylan hooking himself on the three here. Uh He's looking if he can catch a piece. He did. Good shot. Way to keep yourself together. Uh, I think the safe return, though, is to cut the three up. Oh, and Sean with the double kiss. I think you'll see maybe a tidy safe here. Brecken roll this ball up. He crossed it over pretty good. Yep. Good shot by Brett there. Opening those balls up. And the three six go. Allowing opportunity for the four. If he can gather ball in hand on the two here, he can get pretty good. You want to be straight on the three, six. You don't want much angle on that. If you do, you want it to be away from the rail. Dylan making work here. Good shot by Dylan there. Well, four's a thin snip in the corner pocket. And you see Dylan trying to See if he can spin that ball through the eight and the six. This could be a little dangerous. You hit the eight full. Come flat right towards the five. Sean made a good hit. I think not is gonna leave a jump shot here for Brett. I'm going to say I think Brett takes this jump on. Oh, he played the bank. I feel it's a little two-way shot there. Brett going to the air. Trying to get a little draw on this ball. He did right off the table. There is three foul rule in effect.
I was going to put their picture in it. I kind of like that one too. With their name below it. I'll keep it simple for now. Nice shot by Brett going up and down. Don't want to be on the rail here. Oh, all right, back. Brett tying the game back. Oh, didn't think that was going to happen there. Giving him two shots there. And Sean's on the hill. Rep Stottlemyre scratching on the nine. Oh. Thomas missing that ball. Brett breaking them hard. I know. No, no. Yeah. Missed the two. Thomas says Dylan's good. Nine ball rolling just in the way. Nope, gets passed. Dylan has a shot at the two. Good shot for Dylan. It looks like Sean, oh Jesus, <laughs> looks like Mr. Wilkie takes that set over Brett Stottlemyre. Brett Stottlemyre finishing fourth place in this tournament. Mm-hmm. 
So now we got to play this match here. I got to wait for the yeah. that game to end anyway. Mm -hmm. Two more matches coming up on table six. Two more matches for today after this match here. Tom's trying to stay in it. Uh, and from the looks of these balls here, he should. He should. I think he's looking at just stunning this ball out right where the cue was. Oh, I can. See if you can get it out of him. Missed the end of that match. I was getting a picture of Brett Stottlemyre. Right. We'll see what our next next matchup's gonna be here. We're four four here. And this race is seven. Pretty much these guys are racing to three now in an alternating break. And I really think it's going to come down to who breaks first. And Tom is leaving a, an open shot. But Dylan with really no pocket for the two unless he plays a good cue ball. I think he settled for the 2 8. And 
He did, and what a good shot on the 2-8, controlling the two ball, really keeping it together. <laughs> he is, he is, he's, he's, he's amped up, he's ready. You know, he wants it. You can see it in his face, every shot, a little, little bit of grimace. With sheer determination in the eyes. On a shot there on the four. Knew he had to be straight on the three. Put a spin on the ball. And with each ball he makes. Just a little faster coming down the line here. He's got the... He's got the... That first place trophy in his sights. I believe Thomas is if he's gonna do something, he's gotta he's gotta do it now. He's gotta make some type of leeway. Dylan straight enough just to float this ball straight up. Thomas gonna give him the nine if he gets it, and he gives it to him. And Dylan takes a lead here. First lead for Dylan. Or second lead for Dylan, actually. Dylan went up 4-3. Thomas taking that last match. Dylan up 5-4 now. Let's make sure those feet stay steady in the chair for Dylan. Thomas up to break. Not a bad break. He's got a shot at the one, I believe in the, the corner will be his best bet to get a good position for the two. So we're really one big shot for Thomas here because everything else is, is pretty open and leads to each route. I think just this shot to get good on the two. <laughs> Probably not. But what do they say? Each champion has his own Corks, you're in a, you're in a, you're playing for the hot seat here. It's big, biggest match of the tournaments these guys have played. Thomas knocking down a tough one with great shape on the two here. Both of these guys have plenty of heart. Neither one of them are just going to lay down and give it up. This is what pool's all about, folks. The grind. You know, we talked about there hasn't been a grind on the stream tables yet. And, you know, it's been one-sided. i, I got to tell you, right now, you're watching it. You're watching the grind from each player, each rack. Not a shot taken for granted. He's going to lay very nice for the four in the corner. Or, I'm sorry, four in the center pocket.
That's what I'm talking about. Not a shot for granted. Thomas knows here. And I gotta keep Dylan off of the hill. He gets the next break. I have to keep him off of it. Little stunned forward to the rail. He might even be straighter. He might be straighter. He draws back just a hair. Oh, a long hair. He was pretty straight on that four ball. I think he's looking still at coming two rails. On the back side of the eight ball. My little stun draw off of the five here. Oh no, he checked it off the rail and, and hit it beautifully. These are on seven foot bar box diamond tables. Dylan's gonna give Thomas that one and again, we're back here in the fight. Brett's on his way. <laughs> TJ, I see you watching. Are you coming in today at any point? Dylan breaking. What's going to happen with the one? He's going to have a look. Opportunity here for Dylan. Again, dropping the three and the four on the break. Beverly's phone's ringing. I don't know who it is, but I'm silencing it. I want Dylan to have full focus here. And wow, dropping on that ball perfectly. What a shot. I think he's looking, he can't get low. He's trying, he's trying to dig. Oh no. And he hung the ball. He wanted to stay for the five, so he dug. Forcing the unsung error from Dylan. TJ's visiting family, he said. So you know what that means. TJ's watching from his phone. Looking at this matchup.
shot by Thomas there. I didn't even get to see it. I was distracted. Thanks. Are we afraid to talk now? TJ's watching. Yeah. TJ, CJ, says hi. Yeah, wow is an, an understatement. That was a shot there. And how big was that shot? Dave Goodridge Jr. I know it was a shot. Wow. Thomas Haas got the chat blowing up. <laughs> Good shot by Thomas. Hard to tell what we have here. It looks pretty straight on the uh, on the uh, eight. Looks like he just inches his ball back a hair. Yeah. Uh, hit by a little bit, and I think he's still good here. And Thomas pockets that ball, and first to the hill. I wouldn't be surprised if this is the matchup you see again in the finals. I was really inspecting the rack knowing you know if he, if he does not get out on this rack it's Dylan's break next and Dylan has broken ran uh, a decent amount of racks in this set one ball down Tough shot on the one to opener if he wants to stay aggressive. If he wants to stay aggressive, he may shoot this ball in the corner. I think he's playing the safe to roll him up on the four here. He's looking at it. Doesn't want to leave a one nine combo. Looking at possibly thinning the one towards the 4-3. Putting the cue ball down past the two. I think he's going to go with his original thought. I think he's just playing for the, the safe. Roll him up on the four. Use the five to push the one down. Good shot. Good shot by Thomas.
Obviously, Thomas got ball and hand on that. All right. If you guys are just tuning in, welcome to the hot seat match for the Maryland State Nine Ball Championship. Winner of this advances and waits for the winner of the Sean Wilkie and whoever the loser of this match is. Thomas knows he got to play one more tidy shot. Pocketing this ball and then playing the combination. Don't, sp don't spill your drink on yourself, Thomas. Big shot here. Knows he's shooting over a ball. Two balls. He just really has to stay down. Let's say if you're shooting over a ball, get your bridge hand as close as you can and stay still. And he hit it good. Good shot by Thomas. That's it, just make the ball. Here you gotta plan accordingly. You gotta make sure you can get a shot. You know the threes. Not much movement as long as you hit it pure. He did. Good shot. Good shot by Thomas there. Controlling the three off of the combination. And if he gets where he wants on this, so you're looking at three stop shots and just a little work from the eight to the nine. Came a little bit angle. Let's see what we got here. A little bit of angle. He may go check this ball again. It looks like he's loading it up with a little bit of check off that rail to come straight back up. Good shot. Getting a little angle on the eight here. Looks like he'll just draw this below the side pocket. Thomas puts away that nine, winning the set. There you have it. Your final match. Thomas is sitting in, in the hot seat, waiting an opponent. He's in the finals. All right, we're going to run some some ads here. And then we'll be right back with Sean Wilkie and Dylan. And they'll play their match.
These players are going to get a few practice racks here, and that'll be it. Give me about, I want to say give me about five minutes, and we'll be ready to start. Alrighty, we're back in the action here in the finals. I'm going to try to get everything ready here. I don't have it yet. Let's keep that there. Uh, I want to switch. Uh, let's switch. So it all counts. See you, buddy. Alrighty. Got the pin.
These guys are getting after it here. Thank you. These guys are getting after it here. No whole bars. I wish I could keep you score, but they've they've been going after it. Sean is is ready. I think Sean was waiting for this match. Sean knocking these balls in. <laughs> I need somebody over there that can keep score for me. So I can see what the score is, these guys. They're just all about the, the win right now. I'll be right back. I'm going to use the restroom and be right back.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. Back at it. So I believe the score, they're not keeping it in, but I'm going to give it to you guys. I believe is 1-1. One, one. In this race to six. These guys are really getting after it here. We're going to see who they're coming up against. Thomas versus who. I believe he left it. He left it on. Copy this. Alrighty. Looks a lot better, okay. I'm gonna move this back down here. Actually, I think.
Well, Sean takes that rack there. All righty. So I believe Boogie is now up two to one. Tell me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is two to one. All right, now I'm back. I'm back. I'm done my administrative duties of of getting things done. Sean Wilkie at the table. A little bit of a tough shot on the one. Pockets it very nicely. Good shot there. Slay and Jenny Muhammad. Sean looking here at four ball tight, about a half inch below that side pocket. Let's get a look here. Half inch below that side pocket. Good work on that shot there. Good job. So I'm looking at the eight, making sure it goes in the side. Looks like it's going to make quick work of these these last few balls here and take a three to one lead against Dylan. Yep, the three digits next to your name is the Fargo rating. He got pure on that ball. Sean Wilkie taking the three game lead here.
Good break. The five is going to come and interrupt the party. Sean Wilkie was ready to make a run for it. And the five said, hold up. Tidy safe here, but I believe he's going to leave the... Oof. Oof. Scratching in the side, trying to play the safe. This could be what Dylan needs here. He needs to pull himself together. Oh, Dylan, very capable himself. Very capable. It's almost time for an energy drink for me. Uh, I think Dylan may be electing to play play safe here. I don't know what he um I thought maybe that the two past the three. Uh, I think he has room to cut it in the side. He does. Good shot by Dylan. Brave. I mean, you know, these caliber of pool players here are or no slouches to pressure. No slouches to, to make a difficult shots look very easy. And Dylan wanting to make quick work and, and get his name back on the board there. He's trying to get revenge on Thomas in the finals here. These last two balls, Dylan will be bringing the game back together. Two to three. And we have a match, ladies and gentlemen. Dylan with a thin cut on the two on the side. Force the error here. I believe Wilkie has the majority of this ball to play the cross bank. Room starting to get a little crowded. Pool league starting to come in. Daunting task of pressure.
Does he have enough to make it in the side I, or the corner? I don't believe so. Playing the soft bank, really. Look at this cue ball here. Wow. Wow. Good shot. Plan for that. That's not by accident. That's not by design. He created the opportunity for that cue ball to go behind the nine. That's why he played it so such a soft bank. Dylan's looking. They're not frozen. He's looking to just tie up the nine and seven. Why I think of tying it up, he just leaves a very easy combo. Mr. Ambrose is in the building. <laughs> Look, he's laughing a little bit. He knows he under hit that ball. He knows he was making it a little bit more difficult than he needed. <laughs> If you're out there watching, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the stream for more billiard classics like this one here. A lot of local favorites in this tournament. A lot of tough matches being played. And you're watching one of them. Supporting us helps support the players. The more we grow, the more we pay for these players to come out and win. Good shot by Sean. What a good bank. And the combo's in. Sean Wilkie with a few words about his terrible position there. Not happy with the win there. Thinks he got a little fortunate. John's breaking, looking to get on the hill here. Dylan looking to rally together. Here come 
becomes the one. Will it hold up for the side or the corner? I believe it held up for the side is probably Sean's best bet. But, you know, now that I look at it, the corner may be better. So for me, it looks steep, but once I look at the table, it's actually not that bad. What's that? Mr. Wilkie making quick work of this rack here. I believe now is leading on the hill, five to two against Dylan.
All right, Dylan concedes the match. Right here. I'll go take a picture. But Jen and somebody else has him. All right, y'all. Next up.
Ladies and gentlemen, here we are. The lag. Sean Wilkie loses the lag. Where's that coming from? It is my phone. No. Thomas set to break. This true double elimination. If Thomas does not win the first set, we go to a second set, the race to six. Will the young gun take down the seasoned vet? Thomas starting with a decent break. Looks like he might have to play safe on the one ball here. <laughs> Looking the time up on the two. Good shot. Sean comes to the table being snookered. Almost looks like he's touching the two ball here. Oh, just missing the one. Good effort. Oh, so who did win the queue? Huh? Who did win the queue? Michael Smith or something like that. Michael Smith on the queue raffle today.
Yep. Because I'm going to put him, I'm going to put him right here. But I wish it said champion. That looks goofy. He looks goofy in that one. See you, buddy.
All right, we're back. Thomas with a good shot on the five there. Luckily not. They haven't been keeping track of the uh, score stream, so who has won? How many games are we in this set? Sean with a good shot there on the six. <laughs> Look what you got here. I'll bl I can blur it out. All I'm going to do. I'm trying to erase him from the picture. This is what I like about it. Then you just click erase. Well, look. Click like that. I, he's out. 
You want the whole back on? I can make it blurry. All right, we're back here. I can update this score. I had to go check. These guys, like I said, these guys aren't keeping. There's a, a remote scoreboard. You can't see just off your screen here. And that's what they're keeping score on. So I can do that if you like that. You can see it's the difference between the sides. This side's blurry, this side's not.
right. Sean looking at the 1 5. Looks like he's going to play it. Wow. Wow. I think everybody in the universe saw that. That one ball completely rolled out, rolled away. If I could if I could show you again here. Okay, I know I can go back. I can on my phone. He was trying to play the one five and just didn't get it. I mean, it's clear as day. You just watch it go. Oh my God. Yeah. Wow. Heartbreaking. Mm. This is the finals. This is it. Sean Wilkie wants to win. He must double dip Thomas Haas. I think Thomas may have hooked himself here. And that's not a think of that. That's a, I know. Now I gotta stand up. <sighs> Tom's jacking up a little bit. Hey, good job the hot dogs. Yeah, they were good. I got people coming in saying they heard it on the street. That's great. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, dude, bad. The one ball was ba bad. Like, there doesn't do it justice. When I, like, watched it here, I was like, it went. It looked like it might have hit a piece of chalk and just turned. <laughs> I feel like Sean's hitting him with a little bit of authority now so he doesn't get a ball to roll out. Big match here. Under hit the ball just a hair, but shouldn't be any problem for Mr. Wilkie here. And this ball here to go up one game in this race to seven. Whew. 
Remember, fellas, you want everybody to watch this final race here. Like, share. Let's support these two players who played their hearts out over the weekend. The more exposure we can get out there for these guys, the, the better it is for everyone. The more exposure we get as a, as a tournament, we can draw more in. Said I could take two of these chairs. Okay. That's fine. Thomas with a good break. Hard to see if you can see a lot of this one ball. Looks like you can. That's nice. Iron it up, getting down. Looks like he's got plenty of ball to hit here. I think he uses the eight to hold himself for the two. But did he hook himself with the eight ball? Look on his face says it all. That he did. He indeed did hook himself on the eight. Thomas is going for the short stick here. I don't believe he has much ball to jump over. We're looking maybe, maybe a half a ball. I think really a quarter ball is all he has to jump. Oh, the effort was there. Does it roll past the side enough to to really not make it playable, so you have to play the combo. He's looking at it. He's looking at the side, weighing all of his options. Shooting the side, knows he can, he's got to let it go a little bit. He's got to get speed on the ball. Try to run into the five to hold for the three. Or does he try to go two rails and kill it? Oh, the four ball's big. He might get under passing enough. He did. Position very natural here. Coming off the three. Just have to make the ball. Oh, hit it with some speed. So that's good for the.
Got chat saying it scores 2-2. Two, two. I'll have to go up and look. Oh shit, I thought that was the nine. That's why I need a Red Bull. Thank you.
Fisk. What a tough break for Sean Wilkie in that last rack. Thomas looking pretty good to clear these up. I think this is really it. He's looking at it. It's good shape on the six here. Nice shot. Yeah, he's going to cut the six in and I'll probably go two rails and try to get straight on the seven. I mean, you don't really want to be straight on the seven on the rails better. It looks like he might have gotten. Oh, he got a little bit of angle. He got a little bit of angle. Mm-hmm. Oh. I'm going to cut it in the side. I don't know. Looks like he's going to load it up with some draw. See, I, I don't... I don't dislike the draw stroke, but he has a slight angle to play the pocket. So that Jaw stroke's going to bring him close to the cool bottom corner. So I think so. The side is an option, playing in this side. Uh, but the, the nine is a big ball, but this is what I was talking about. You're trying to force an angle. You should have just... Yeah. And that's what I was concerned about. I knew he wanted to play it with speed. And power. Mm-hmm. But even look at the result. He's still hooked on the eight. I don't think so. He can't see it. Oh, no. It'll yeah. Looked like he rushed it a little bit. Gradually getting smaller. Eventually it'll fit in the corner. I'm not. I'm going to get two ready. <laughs> it was.
What's that? No, it's just titling the scene. Now here it doesn't matter. It is the finals. What do you think of that? I think I might break the text up. That's not also not spelled right. Jesus. I think I want to make it too. Or I might do Yeah. All right, cool. Thanks, chat. He has owned it out. I zoned out. <laughs> I don't think I'm ever going to get, maybe after this, I'll get my drinks. Just in enough time to clean up. Not a bad shot. He knew he had to run into the nine. Just making sure he had some.
She can't find her car keys. Ladies and gentlemen, Jenny Muhammad is stranded. Can't find her car keys. Uh, she go outside and maybe won't be able to find her car. <laughs> Thomas is doing it. I swear I'm with you guys from here on out. Uh, two balls away from securing a spot on the hill. Thank you. Oh no. Now we're taking a player break here for a second. Sean said I need to take a minute. We'll be back in two minutes. We're back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Mr. Wilkie wanted to take a little restroom break real quick, collect his mind, and uh, see what Thomas left him here. Let's do a side view. As we can see, this ball is pretty close to the rail. Really no shot offered here. No big safe here on this, this eight ball. Thomas a little fortunate. I think Sean's looking at, at you know, possibly trying to just nudge this ball forward, make Thomas do something. And he did. Thomas return in the safe. We might have a little standoff here, ladies and gentlemen.
looks like they're looking to see if it's frozen. You want eyes?
Well, the scoreboard is correct. It is a tied game here. It is 4-4. Come on, chat. Let's get the score right here. You guys are supposed to be my rock. Mm-hmm. All right. Sean's looking here. He's got options. I think, I think for Sean, he's looking to three foul. Good shot, tucking him up on the six. Telling Thomas he's on two. Big shot here. And here comes the bridge. And he hits the ball. What a hit. Steven off the three foul. Sean tried to break that eight, that two ball out. Got a little nudge, but got bad on it. Uh, not sure if he left a, a ball here. Uh, wish that overhead offered a little bit better of an angle. And the way Thomas is looking at it, it looks like he might get flat on this ball. So I think he has all the two ball to access. Not, not access to all of it. And I believe he left. Let's look here. I believe he left that two ball there. Uh, I think the seven makes the bank a tight pocket. He may elect to just cut this ball down the long rail and tuck it on that middle diamond by the nine and use the eight, three, six, nine as blockers.
They're done with you, Lloyd. It was pretty good. It was rough. Oh, little fortune favors the brave. Thomas, two rail banks to three in unintentionally. Came across and back, missed the seven six, came above it, and then banked it back below between the nine five. Oh, this one. Here you go. Thomas taking advantage of the good fortune he had there. Able to uh, capitalize on the little bit of luck he had on the three ball. Well, slow down ball. And he's good. Just have to make it. That's it.
Thomas with a good shot there. Getting, see what he can get for this position for the four. I can't tell whether or not it doesn't go there. I think he's looking at the line to come around the shoot to four in the corner. Yep, straight down. I can take this out of studio mode. Good shot. All right, folks, Thomas, first one to get to the hill, but it straight fashion for this match. Uh, Wilkie is not going to be far behind. Hmm. Going to stand up. Legs hurt. It's bugging me now. Well, I don't. I feel like that looks pretty good, though. To center it.
If I could curve it. <laughs> what are you looking here? Well, Sean, to tell you, the players are keeping track of their score. I walked over to see what their score was, and this is what they have. So, yeah. wanted to emphasize champion. Yeah, guys, confirming score. We'll do that right after this rack here. I believe. Actually, I'll go now. I'll go look and see what the players have for score. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the score is absolutely correct. It is five to six. Yep. Mm-hmm. Thomas Haas, four balls away from securing the Maryland State eight ball championship. Nine ball championship, I'm sorry. I'm doing math.
These guys have played a grueling match here. Oh, I heard Thomas had won before. He's on the seven here. Yeah, come on, Brett. Come out next year. Come shoot with us. It's a fun event to come to. Hosted by Brews, ran by On the Hill Productions. Big shot here for Thomas Haas. And that ball falls. It swept his feet going in. This for the win here. Big ball. Good shooting, these gentlemen. There you have it, folks. Your Maryland 